Hi everybody. It's been a, a minute. I've been uh, painting and seed starting and just working on some other stuff and um, I haven't made a video. I apologize for not being around for a little while. I am trying, I have decided to just go forward with the Apocalypse Kitchen with the floor as it is and hope that we don't notice it as much once I get all the trim and painting done. And if we do, we can put some rugs <laughs> because as the Doomer that I am, as the 2024 step change believer that I am, I think, uh, I think I better get on it if I want this damn thing done. So I'm working on the, uh, closet doors today in the bathroom to make them match the trim in the, uh, kitchen. We're going to get some, you know, spoon flour that has the custom, wallpaper that all kind of people from all over make we're gonna do this while in the spoon flower uh, wallpaper find something really cool like a raven or um, I don't know some flowers or something really neat so I'm looking forward to that uh, the seed starts are getting big I got both tents going planting almost every day planting some new stuff and um, and I want to say that my wife and I have been just overwhelmed with what we've seen coming from uh, Mississippi today that uh, tornado, that 100 mile long path of just complete and utter devastation that we saw in Mississippi today. And um, and I hear people, you know, doing these reports, they always want to leave on an upbeat, right? Oh, we're pulling together as a community in this. Well, no, you're a bunch of shell-shocked survivors who are about to go through the worst experience, who have been and are going through the worst experience of your life. I think I, as communities, I hope that we can pull together before this happens to us because it's coming for all of us. And um, so that those structures are in place. I know people are coming from all over to help. I just, I, I wish that we had more cohesive communities um, before that kind of stuff happens. And I say that for my own community in particular, my wife and I are struggling with that. Um, the other thing about that is, it's really windy today. I, I saw a notice come up that it was going to be windy. So about a couple hours before that started, I went and put the girls up. And I would encourage everybody, wherever you are, because this is, you know, it's global. Um, and, and the weather patterns are changing. And, and these parts of the south didn't used to get tornadoes like they do. And you know what? Neither did L.A., and L.A. didn't used to get, you know, we're going to be at, we're at 12 right now. I think 16 atmospheric rivers. This is, the, you know, this is the age of unending storms. But the weather patterns are changing. There's more moisture in the system. There's more chaos and there's more energy in the system. So I want everybody to pay attention to, find your weather channels that you that you pay attention to. Uh, my wife likes that Pow Ponder guy. Um, he's climate aware, you know, and he puts it in, in that context a lot of times. But yesterday he was saying, you know, this is coming. You guys need to pay attention. You guys need to pay attention. And, and we are hearing this in Detroit, right? It's the same thing when those atmospheric rivers are hitting California. We know about it. So I know that the people in those places know about it, but they're not. I saw kids wandering around in their pajamas on television this morning, and I'm wondering, why are they wearing their pajamas when there's a tornado warning? We have to stop underreacting as a society to these warnings. If you must go to bed, go to bed wearing your work boots and your work pants and be ready with your go bag attached to you. Um, but take these warnings seriously. You know, my wife and I were talking about this morning and if we start, if we get a warning like that, we're going to pack up and leave and just go sleep in a Walmart parking lot with the cats overnight. I don't know if the chickens would go along for that ride or not, <laughs> but, but we do have a cage we can put them in. Um, you know, just take yourself out of the situation because we, he, and Paul Ponder, he was saying FF2, FF3 for this. And I was like, mm, I'm no weather person, but it was worse than that. It's, it's always going to be worse than expected, 
faster than expected. Just, you know what, if you overreact and you end up sleeping in a Walmart parking lot for no reason for a night, okay. But you're alive and you're intact and so are your animals. And I just encourage us as a society, especially the gals who are watching, don't, don't feel like reacting appropriately is overreacting. Don't, if all your neighbors are just sitting in the house, not paying attention, who cares? Who cares? Look after yourself. Pay heed to these warnings because we have been getting really good forecasting that they're coming. Take them seriously and take action. Um, those houses were removed, were scraped. We, you just saw foundations, right? We saw, I'll, put the, I'll put a link to some of the drone footage we watched, we watched this morning. It was, it was beyond the Afghanistan earthquakes because there was nothing. It was just gone. And um, you can't survive that. Maybe if you have an underground shelter, maybe if the rest of your house doesn't fall into it. But um, I know the houses in these areas aren't built to withstand this, this weather. The people aren't used to reacting to this stuff. We have to adapt. We have to adapt and change. And, and don't be afraid. Don't be too cool to overreact, okay? Go ahead and overreact. <laughs> Stay safe. And I'm thinking about you all. And, um, and uh, uh, I hope you're well. Okay, have a good day. Bye.